ChatGPT just released a new feature called Romini with Scheduled Task. And this is a game changer for writing stories, novels, books, and a lot of other things as well. Here's how it works and how it is crazy good for us authors and writers. First, let's create a task. You can see that ChatGPT is now asking me, when would you like the task to be scheduled and what exactly would you like it to remind you to do? So you wanna give some specifics before we go on to the next step. In our case, I want this to be about writing. I said, write a chapter each morning for the story below following the outline, which I've already created and provided below. Write each chapter in sequence, starting from the first chapter until the end of the story. Use the style and tone of Stephen King. So you want to be as specific as possible on the task. And then when? Every day at 5 a.m. So I wanted this to happen automatically without me having to come in here and push the button. This is how you automatically write a novel. I've been waiting for this for so long. Let's go ahead and send this to the task scheduling. And you'll see that there's going to be a whole nother section and screen that comes up. Oh, got it. I'll remind you each morning at 5 a.m. So you can see that there's something new that showed up. We're going to click these little, three little dots over here and you can pause this. You can view all your tasks and you can edit. I'm going to click in here and now you can see that there's a task box. This is the first start of the agentic future of ChatGPT. So you can name your task. You can have your instructions here and obviously you can change those. Tell me to write a chapter each morning for the novella below following the outline. Write each chapter in sequence. You can change the time. It doesn't repeat. You can do a custom. I have daily at five. And of course, the time. So pause, delete. And I'm going to save that. Let me show you a few other things that you can do with this. You can go in here and you can view all your tasks, which this is the only one that's scheduled. You can obviously edit it right there. You can pause it or delete it. If you're wondering where to find your tasks after you've created one, you can go up to your profile, pick, click on it, and right up here will be your tasks. So you can look at them that way as well. Here's an important thing to know. Now you can do a daily task. You can even do a twice daily task. But one thing you can't do apparently is schedule a task to run more than four times per hour. So you wanna keep that in mind right now as you schedule your tasks. For example, for our purposes, if we're going to schedule a task like write a chapter, revise a chapter, remind me to do something, then you want to create a task that allows you to maximize the potential of these tasks scheduling. Let me show you another task I just set up, and that is to write one chapter per hour uh, based on this outline for a novel. And you can come back in an hour. You can come back in a day. You could do one chapter per day, one chapter per hour, two chapters per hour, apparently up to four chapters per hour or four writing tasks per hour. And you can come back and you'll have content to write and put together into a longer story, into a novel, into a book, into a blog post, whatever it is that you want to do. I just asked ChatGPT, well, when's this going to start if it's every hour? And it says it'll start right away within the next few minutes. So I'm going to see if that works out. I'll come back and let you know when that happens. As you can see, I got an email from OpenAI saying my task was complete. Let's view the message. So you can see I created a new task where I actually ask for a creative and unique short story in the style and tone of Stephen King. I'm going to set it to run in just a little bit. Now we have the short story. Look at this, how cool this is. What I actually changed it to was to write a creative and unique short story and just did a one-time scheduled event and scheduling it daily. And we actually have this short story. You could get a new short story every day or just some ideas. How absolutely cool is this? Here's a few other things that you can do with this task scheduling feature. You could say, you know, remind me to write every day at 6 a.m. Teach me a new writing lesson every day or every afternoon. Revise my last chapter every day and give specific feedback for how to improve it, upgrade it, and integrate it to. That's how you can start to upload things like your plot outline, like different chapters that you're working on so that you can come to ChatGPT every day and get feedback on something that you've written yourself, or ChatGPT can write something for you and you can review it. Something that I'm very excited about is write my novel on autopilot. I think that's gonna be really cool.
Now, of course, you can write the novel yourself or the book yourself and just get some assistance and help from ChatGPT. Or you can ask ChatGPT to kind of write everything for you and then you review it and change it however you like. Here's what OpenAI says itself. So there's this scheduled task and ChatGPT is in beta. And also you can only use it if you have a plus pro or team plans. Now this is going to expand to probably everyone at some point. It's an early beta. You can schedule tasks on these devices. You can do it in your Windows app, at least in quarter one, which is right around the corner. You actually can schedule tasks for ChatGPT to do later on its own without you having to manually click a button, which I love. Tasks can be triggered at specific times, one off or reoccurring, and it's whether you're online or not. So that's really cool. And you are sent a push notification or email when the task is complete. You can say things like practice French with me daily, which I'm learning French right now. So that's perfect for me. You can set up reminders, which I love for work-related tasks or even personal things. So again, this is how you set up a task. Click on your profile item and click on task. If it's your first time, you can just click down here on try your own, set up your tasks, set up notifications. You can edit, you can pause, you can delete. Allow notifications if you want the notifications. Here's this box again that you've seen before. Make sure you fill out all the information. You can always pause it, come back and edit it later. I don't know about the character limits yet in the instructions, but typically the more detailed your instructions, typically the better. One thing to know that's really important is right now you have a limit of 10 active tasks at one time. Now that will probably increase over time but right now, limit it to 10 active tasks, task no more than four reoccurrences per hour. You can't do these things yet. GPTs, file uploads, or voice chats, but I bet that's all coming. I'm really excited about this, guys. This is how you can start to write on autopilot. I encourage you to test it out and experiment with it on your own. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you, happens when you test it out. Thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, do all the things. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.